good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, and you have Colgate. We have this beer that Colgate went on a road trip to get. This is a very special beer. This is Muskoka's Winter Jack, which is the barrel aged version of their winter beard, which is a double chocolate cranberry stout. So 9% alcohol by volume. Barrel aged. I'm excited. I kind of cream myself. Kind of cream myself when he said he had it. Is this what you asked me to pick up? I couldn't remember when I left the review, or if it was like the vintage something. Oh, they had the vintage one too. Yes, which was aged for a year. And yeah. It's last year's. But was one. that what we were talking about? Yes, this is the one okay. we were talking so about. So I stood in front of the fridge looking like an idiot for about five minutes. <laughs> that was hard. They all. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna make that same joke. Yeah. Back, so. They also. Uh, had it disguised in like their craft lager six packs just with that little tag on it so i just stand there like it'll be safe in here yeah but uh really cool road trip if you ever get the chance to go up there muskoka is gorgeous i think it's the furthest north i've ever been my first time up there um it was just incredible uh the guy working there i didn't catch his name but uh, he gave us like a little impromptu tour around the place got to see the facility um they're doing a bit of contract brewing for farmery in manitoba and a bunch of other cool stuff. So get it's up a there, check far them out. Trip for farmery beers. It's a yeah. Big that they're in. Yeah, I guess they they just don't have their license for out there. But um, Skoka's doing Look it. Look at that beautiful color. It looks very nice. That's what mahogany. The way it Maybe even more to the glass walnut. too. Right? I'm gonna say walnut. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Walnut uh, smell. Oh my god, it smells like sherry. It actually does. The fruit, wow. the Literally fruit and the booze yeah. is okay. all that came Perfect. out. That smells really oh, fucking good. Or a tiny port, maybe. Either one. Can we smell it? Can we try this already? Oh, I need to smell it, it a few amazing. more times. Oh. Oh, nice I don't know why I only grabbed two bottles. We drove like three hours to get there and all I grabbed was two bottles. Like, but what was the bottle price? Do we have a dunce hat I can wear for this review? I was for, uh, for the for the bottle this size, it was I think four ninety five. But okay. it, like, if you get a if you get a bomber or like a seven fifty, it'd be about ten bucks, right? Which kind wow. of makes sense. Mm -hmm. Even more inside, depending on what. Yeah. Did they say what barrels they're using? Well, I don't they know. call it I they call it a winter jacked. So I would expect Jack Daniels, but that's, I don't know. That's what I was. Says back there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, smell wise, I was I was led to believe Tennessee whiskey barrels. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, if I had to guess, I would probably say that. But that's awesome. Yeah, lots, lots of alcohol, lots of fruit, lots of sweetness. Let's try it. Cheers. Hopefully it was worth the trip. Well, that made the trip up worthwhile on its own. Oh, I should have grabbed a ton more of this. Yeah. Oh, wow. You guys, oh, will, have loser. To, you guys will have to pry the other bottle for my time. Uh, do you see how many of us are here? Yeah. I don't care. I'll, I'll still fight back. I'll, I'll lose, but I'll try. <laughs> this is really good. And it's only available at the brewery, as far as I understand. It's not going to get into LCBOs, I don't think. Exceptional smoothness. Carbonation's perfect. Yeah, it looked like it was a little over carbonated, and then you drank it, and it's just velvety smooth. Chocolate, vanilla, cranberry. Uh, nice, nice alcohol burn. It's not, it's not over the top. It just mixes with the mm -hmm. flavors properly. Oh, the dark chocolate. Yeah. Dark, dark chocolate, a little bit of coffee bitterness on the background, uh, and a little bit of, of mixed berry, well not mixed berry, mixed fruit sweetness in the middle, which is also coming from the barrels. I'm, I'm, I love this. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is a great holiday, winter kind of beer. Like this could get dessert, you through drink, this could get you through eating your grandmother's fruit cake. Yeah. I, I thought the cranberry, 9%. I thought the cranberry was going to get dominated, it's not, it's still there. Yeah, and that's the weirdest part about it, because when you drank this on its own, the the last few years the cranberry was there but it wasn't oh my god overpowering because of the double chocolate and I figured the same thing I figured barrel aging it for a while the vanilla and the oak and everything else was going to take it out but it actually just helped enhance it this is totally worth the trip it's delicious damn it it's so awesome that you got it not so awesome that you only got two of them I know yeah, we were, have sent you with money we were like, like back in Barry, months. and I was like, I'm fucking totally. Yeah, if I had any idea, I, you would have had a $100 <clears throat> bill. I couldn't remember what I was supposed to pick up. The guy just pointed it out. But, uh. Should have been like, there's an albino that wants me to pick some stuff up. What should I get him? Yeah. 
Usually I drop them. The right? logger, I'd say. <laughs> it's more of the craft logger. I guess uh, the guy was telling me too, they've got like a centrifuge now for filtering stuff. So that over the next year or two, their beers are going to be a bit more cloudy. And so hopefully like more and more hazier. Just They have to Fine. just get the market used to it at first. Yeah. We got to see the centrifuge. It was kind of cool. They're going to have to get the market used to it all right. Go to Muskoka. <laughs> They've even got uh, plugs you can plug in your car while you're inside the brewery because it gets cold up there. Check it out. Oh, to ten. Oh. I'm gonna give it an eight five because I don't feel like dancing and it is a far ways away and like not too many people are gonna get this. It's tough to get, but it's damn good. Well. That being said, reason why you didn't go any higher is the reason why I can't consider this an 11, but it is going to get a 9.5 for me. I'll make up for you not dancing. <laughs> <laughs> nine. It's definitely, it's, I can't believe you copped out for nine. Man. I give a nine too. <sighs> One second. <laughs> Pull the same stunt that he just did. Very disappointed. I'm gonna have to give it a eight. No, um, <laughs> I wanted to know where I was ranking it in my barrel age stouts. Um, I'm gonna say it's it's in the top five, so I'm gonna give it a nine seven five. No, I feel like a dick. You shouldn't. You were not. You're not dancing. You even feel so. Worse anyway, it's please. a four man stout strut. <laughs> You didn't get a nine from Devin because he only bought two. He's just pissed. Don't worry about yeah, it. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure it's a nine and I'm a half. I'm very from Devin. disappointed. I'll give that one back because it's <laughs> okay, a nine right. and a half. Okay, alright. I usually bump into you when we try this with two people. I don't know how oh, we're going to do yeah, four. This, this is going to be a mess. Um, well, a mess? Yeah, absolutely. It's okay. fine with being a mess. Go, guys. Okay, well, alright. <laughs> oh, goodness, here we go. <laughs> I don't even know where to go now. <laughs> oh, every right, guys. Time, I always get beat up when we do this. <laughs>